Hey guys, it's Mauler here. Um, today I'm going to be covering um, how to re-import uh, W3D models into uh, Max uh, from existing W3D files within uh, the always.dat. Um, as you can see, this is the model in W3D Viewer. It's already uh, been turned into a W3D file, but uh, I want to use this as a prop in one of my maps. Uh, uh, but uh, I need the, uh, the source, the Max file, so let's get started. So first thing you want to do is load up your uh, W3D, or load up your Max. Uh, go to the Utilities tab. Uh, make sure you have the W3D Importer script in your uh, Scripts folder. You can find the script on the Download section of MPF. Uh, click the W3D Importer. And then you want to go to Load W3D Object. And then the model that I use is called DSP Drumstack 2. Uh, Material editor comes up with the materials, but I want to uh, reset everything. So go to uh, reset material editor slots. Oh, before you reset it, um, just take a note of what material is using. Uh, you can either use the W3D viewer and see the materials that it actually uses. So it's actually using two materials uh, DSP Metal Drums and DSP Word World, uh, both of which I already have in my texture folder, so I'm good to go. So let's reset these material slots. We'll close that out, and then we'll zoom the windows, and then we'll uh, expand the uh, perspective viewport. As you can see, there's a uh, material uh, on it already, but it's not actually applied. Um, so we have to reapply those textures. Uh, before I do anything, um, just open up your model and take a look at what's there. Uh, as you can see here, we have a bounding box. Um, I think it's more uh, for collisions. Um, I don't think I need that, so I'm just going to close and delete that mesh. And all the rest uh, I'll keep. Uh, looks like... Uh, yeah, that's good. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the, the meshes. And then I'm going to hit um, UV Remove. I'm going to remove all the materials. The first thing I want to do is turn all these meshes into uh, editable mesh. We'll convert to editable mesh. Uh, and then I'm going to do them to all. So I'm just going to select all the meshes. Convert to editable mesh. And then I want to go to selection and select the vertices tool. Control A to select all the vertices. And then you want to go down to uh, weld. And uh, set this uh, setting to 0 0.01. Then select it. It'll weld it. And that means that it's uh, properly rewelded. Uh, when you import models it tends to break the uh, uh, the edges and the vertices of uh, the mesh so you have to re uh, re-weld everything. Control A weld and just do that for every single piece of the mesh. If you have a larger model you have to do every single mesh. Uh, I have my uh, weld key uh, hot keyed, so you might want to do that too. So, like I said, you have to go through all the meshes and make sure they're all re welded, or else they will look, uh, um, they won't display the lighting properly in game. It'll just look like a flat, boring cardboard model. So there we go. Now I have them all uh, re-welded. Uh, uh, you can see that there is some errors still, like right here, right here, and a couple of these things here. But uh, what I like to do is uh, smooth these meshes out. So um, these barrels are all the same. So I'll just select all these barrels, and I'll go to sorry, I'll go to um, smooth. And I'm going to click Auto Smooth, or you can choose a smoothing group that you want uh, if you want the light to, uh, to to display nicely over the mesh. And let's see if I go one. Let's see what kind of uh, maybe not so much. The barrels are pretty flat, so I'm not going to put that crazy smoothing on there. Uh, I think that's uh, maybe I will go 
with one. Yeah, I'll stick with one for a smoothing group. So we'll leave that. Um, then we'll select these two uh, wedges. And we'll smooth. And this is a, a, a just a straight metal piece, so I'm just going to leave them as uh, pretty sharp models. So we'll leave that as is. Then uh, we'll select the wood pallet. We'll select all the pieces since it's just one big uh, wood pallet. Uh, then we'll go to smooth again. Uh, since it's wood, it is flat, so I'll just leave it flat like that as it is. And that's good. Okay, so now uh, if we take a look at the model again, we'll see that uh, this is one material and the wood is one material. And I believe these wedges are using the same material as these barrels. So, uh, and it's only using two textures, so metal drums and wood world. So metal drums will be uh, these drums and then the wedges and then uh, wood world would be this piece right here. So what we're going to do is load up the material editor. We're going to have two textures. We're going to have DSP metal drum and we'll select this as a W3D material. Change that to a light metal. And then we'll go with another material. We'll go DSP wood. I'll uh, go pallet. And we'll set that to a W3D material as well. I'll change that to wood. Let's apply the mesh. Actually, before we do that, let's close that out. Select all the uh, the DSP uh, metal drum, uh, and that's what I said. These drums and the metal wedges were all one texture. So we'll go there, and then we'll go to pass one. We'll go to texture tab, and it was DSP. Uh, DSP uh, drum. We'll just double check what it is. DSP metal drum. Uh, DSP metal drum in Wood World. And there's the texture. So we'll just hit display and then apply. And it should have saved the UVs, in which it did. So everything's good there. And then now we'll select all the wood pallet pieces. And just I'm going to switch the view for a second. So I can select those wood pieces. As you can see, it selected one of the drums. I don't want that. Uh, so we got just the wood pallet selected now. We'll go back into perspective. And then we'll zoom out so we can see the pallet. Hit the M key and go to wood pallet. And then we want to go to uh, find our texture for the pallet. And that was DSP Wood World. Uh, let's see if we can find it. Here we go. And we hit display again. And then with all the meshes uh, up, uh, selected, just apply the material and it should automatically apply it to the way it was in the W3D file. So if you look closely, we just imported a model and we've optimized it uh, properly so you can reuse it in one of your levels. Now that you're done, save it and uh, now you can merge it into your, uh, your map scene or your level scene and you're good to go. Thanks, guys.